Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to integrate Ribbon with Spring Boot. So if you haven't watched our previous microservice related video then please watch it. Before going further first let's see what is the Ribbon. The Ribbon is a client side load balancer that gives you a lot of control over the behavior of HTTP and TCP clients. A central concept in Ribbon is that of the named client. Each load balancer is part of an ensemble of components that work together to contact a remote server on demand. And the ensemble has a name that you give it as an application developer. On demand, Spring Cloud creates a new ensemble as an application context for each named client by using the Ribbon client configuration. Let's implement. In this video, I am going to demo the Spring Boot and Ribbon integration in two different way. First, let's create some simple Spring Boot starter projects. First project name let's say Service 1. Here I am going to add three Maven dependencies like Web, DevTools, and Ribbon. Now let's finish this project. Project created successfully. Let's create one more project. Project name let's say service 2. Here I am going to add only one Maven dependency and that is web. Let's finish this project. Project created successfully. Let's create one more project. Project name let's say service 3. Here also I am going to add three Maven dependencies like web, DevTools, and Ribbon. Let's finish this project. Project created successfully. Now let's open application properties file of service 1. Here let's add two simple properties like server port and application name. Here port number let's keep 9090. Application name let's say service 1. Now let's create one controller class and class name let's say service 1 controller. Let's annotate this class as a REST controller. Let's add simple get service call for a welcome message. Let's add similar kind of code for service 2 also. See here port number and application name I modified. Now let's start the server for service 1 and service 2. One server started successfully. The second server also started. Let's open these service in a browser. So I am using the internal browser. Let's open the internal browser. Now let's open service 1. See the welcome message is coming. See for the second service also welcome message is coming. If you knew for service 1 we added ribbon dependency also. So for service 1 application properties file let's add ribbon related properties. Here for these properties, I am adding service 2 as prefix and for service 2 application properties file service name I added service 2. So it is easy to identify for which service need to apply these ribbon related properties. So let's add required properties. Ribbon Eureka enabled set to false. Ribbon list of server so service 2 is running on 9091. Later we will run for 9092 and for 9093 also. Set server list refresh interval to 15000. Okay so this is done. Now let's open service 1 controller. So before adding ribbon related changes, we need to establish communication between service 1 and service 2. So let's do use rest template. So first we need to create a bean for rest template. Now let's auto wire the rest template. So now using this rest template we will call service to get method. So let's see how to do that. So inside rest template class there is a method and method named get for an object. So let's use get for object method. So here pass the URL and return type as a string. 
Now let's add this rest in a return statement so we can directly see the result. See it is very simple. Server restarted. Let's check rest call is going or not using service 1. See it is working, showing both the messages. Here BR is not working because this is an internal browser. So let's replace with a comma with some message. See it is showing properly now. Here you can see we added three URLs in the list of servers. There is no restriction you can any number of URLs. Now let's change the port from 9091 to 9092 and start the server. Server started. Let's change the port from 9092 to 9093 and start the server. Server started, that means service 2 is running on three different ports. Here also you can see three servers for service 2. Let's access all three one by one. See all three are working fine. Now let's load balance service 2 using ribbon. Let's create load balancer client reference. Annotate with auto wired. Now let's create service instance object using load balancer choose method. Here pass service to as a method parameter. Now let's create URI object using URI create method. Here we will prepare the service to URL. Using service instance we can get the host and port. Now use this URI instead of static URL. Here also add the calling URI. I hope whatever we did it is clear for you. Let's check now. See it is working, and you can see the calling URL is 9091. Let's refresh. See it is using 9092 now. See it is using 9093 now. So based on the load it will automatically switch the request URL. Hope this approach is clear for you. Let's review the changes whatever we added for service 1. Now let's see the second approach. So let's open service 3 project. Open application properties file and add similar kind of properties. Here let's change the port and application name. Create new controller and controller name let's say service 3 controller. First, just add basic get request related code. Let's run and see it is working or not. C service 3 is running on 9999 port and showing a proper message. Now let's return back to service 3 controller. First, let's add rest template related code. Now add a load balanced annotation for rest template bean. Add similar kind of request call related code for the welcome method. Now let's add ribbon client annotation for this class. But this annotation accepts two parameter one is name and other is configuration class. So set name as service2. Now use this service2 as part of the URL. See no need to use service instance related code here so those code related things taken care by ribbon client and ribbon configuration class. Now let's create a ribbon configuration class. So here whatever code I am going to add that is pretty standard code. Let's add I, client, config reference and annotate with auto wired. Now we need to create two beans one for I pang and one for I rule. So let's create. That's it.
Let's run service 3 servers again. Server started. Let's refresh the URL, see it is working. See here we can't track the calling URL, that is handled by a ribbon, but here is the log you can see the details. So in this video, we learned these two approaches, coming video we will see how to integrate Ribbon with our existing almighty Java project because there we already integrated Fane, Hystrix, and Zool. Let's review whatever changes we added. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.